Hello, hello everyone. My name is Sisra and welcome back to our Druidish campaign, where we aren't suffering as much problem with public order as we are in other campaigns. Yes, I'm looking at you, Frankish. So yeah, apparently, uh, the North is not that attractive to uh, the immigrants that are being pushed away from Attila, the Ostrogoth, the Visigoth, and all of the other barbarians. Well, to be fair, Attila is only one year old right now, so... One year old right now. So, yeah, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I also do have enough money and enough income to where I think I should be able to build a second army rather easily and have them go and attack the Angles. So yeah, that is my plan right now, and we'll see where we actually go. So, what can we do here? What else? What can we get in this army? Apparently, uh, that is it. So I'm gonna try to rush to the to a position where we can actually start to be aggressive again. And I'm planning to be aggressive in the southward direction. Could of course be aggressive in the uh, westward direction. But I think we'll save that for a bit later. In all the news, my campaigns are doing great, uh, viewer-wise, and I really, really, and uh, I really, really must thank you for the support you've shown me in the, uh, this campaign and the other campaigns. And uh, yeah, it's it's really nice for me to see, and I really thank you a lot. Also, sorry if you. Well, if you heard something, that it, was, it was me bumping the mic. Sorry about that. Anyway. Consumption. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, we don't have the best... Uh, we don't have the best... Uh, what's it called again? It's called sanitation. And unfortunately, there's not much I can really build to combat that. All the rest stuff I can build, but I don't have access to them, I believe. Actually, let's find out. Can I, let's say, convert this into a well? Or, or a thro throths. I think that's how we pronounce it. No, not with that. I'm guessing I can't do it with that either. Nope. And then, a last chance. No. Not at all. Yeah, I don't have access to that. Which is slightly annoying. By the way, what is the first thing? Town center. And I can't get this here because these are, aren't technically towns. Okay, so I'll see. I can only get the... Um, well, the... Better units building in a town. And... I'm guessing... That I should get the the thing right here, also in town. But who knows? Who knows how I can actually get this? Maybe it says something on this uh, wiki what I actually need in order to get it. So no, it only says what enables it. And yes, I have it available to me. It doesn't require any building. Yes, it's in this chain. I still can't see it here. Hmm. This is definitely not the like first building in the chain. Do I have any other options though? I might have that. And that's why I can't find it, because all of these things have already gone down the wrong path. No matter, no matter. How much will this cost? Oh, there was, this will literally cost if I'm to get that. Yeah, I would like some more public order, but apparently not from the religion. Not right now, anyway. We do have enough food, though, to where we should be able to upgrade this. Although, this still hasn't come into effect yet. So, minus 35, but I think it already gives us, like, minus 15. So yeah, we, we have the food we need in order to upgrade this as well. And the reason for us upgrading this and not Tavern is the fact that it is our capital, after all. 
and yeah, well, it's basically a capital because we couldn't change it. That's a bit weird. Anyway, we still have recruitment going, and our army is not full yet. Therefore, I'll I'll recruit that, and then I'll start the recruitment of another one. So we can actually be offensive again. Which is kind of what uh, the Vikings were. Although they were raiding, something that I am not planning to do. And yeah, I should also mention that this is 400 years too early for them to really be Vikings, so there's also that. Ah, that's not fun. So after the game has glitched a bit, and is sending me out to the Americas apparently, and I think I hit the border. Anyway, after that happened, we got another mission. And that mission is to construct a building in the following chain. City. Hang on, didn't I just do that? Yeah. Well. Oh yeah, we have to do all the panning, of course. Can't I just simply double click? Apparently I can't. There we go. Um, what was I thinking? Yeah, city. So this is the the city, right? No. Oh, well, are you kidding me? So I get that mission the same turn as I complete it, which would be awesome if only I got the new mission beforehand. So actually now the mission is to get this, and it's very much possible, but it is going to cost me. It's going to cost me both money-wise and food-wise, and I, I do have enough, granted. Uh, I don't know. What can I get from that? Uh, nothing new. It will increase my wealth, it will increase my growth, it will increase my public order, and it will also increase my squalor. And, yeah, food consumption. Which is actually quite high in that circumstance. So this is really not, this is really not considered a city. Like, a city, um, in the city tree. That's weird. Well, I guess it makes sense, but I still don't... I still don't see it. I think it's a bit weird. But to some degree, I, I must say it, it makes sense. Anyway... Nordic Bows. I think we can already recruit them. But just in case... No, we can't actually. We don't have that. So we might go for that. Woodcrafter. Okay, what are our alternatives? Nori Creator. Oh yeah, Smithy. I don't have that yet. Do we go for that though? I don't know. So it will give us decent cavalry. Let's take a look at this. The cavalry, that is. If you could actually show me that. That'd be nice. Why can't you show me the, the units I can get from it? Yeah, why don't you show me that? I've noticed that before, but why is that not shown? Also, this doesn't matter. Because there's actually not units I can get. Why do you need to make everything that difficult? Do I need to, like, go to the separate part of the encyclopedia? That shows me units? Apparently I do. And then I have to go through all of this. And the cavalry. Apparently, they're missile cavalry. Yeah. Or was it? Of course, I forgot the, forgot the name. Nordic Raiders. Then we have to go back to the thing. Very annoying. Now, almost forgot it again. Okay, yes. So it is just that. 
Was it Mount Rays? Now I'm effing up again. I have a horrible short term memory, apparently. But there are only so many horse infantry units, or horse units, we can actually get. So yeah, it had to be the Nordic... Nordic uh, Missile Cavalry, cavalry thingamajig. Yeah. Yes, it was. So, Missile Cavalry. Uh, after all of that, after all of that fidgeting with the encyclopedia, I decided that no, I don't want that. Not yet, anyway. Definitely something that we might look into later on. But I would prefer them to be, well, straight out cavalry. And they aren't. Don't need one of those, I already have them. By the way, I could flip this to Smithy. Actually, should we do that? Because that's income. Which is always great. I don't know if I want to take it that way. So many choices. But yeah, let's get some bow units and some onagers. And... Uh, should I flip this? Uh, I don't know. Actually, what will the next tier give me? Steelforge. Nordic Axe Warband. That's a much better unit. But this won't give me anything. And if I continue down this road, it'll only give me... Hmm. Yeah, passive benefits. And this thing... Oh, it's not that far up, actually. Hmm. I think I'll do that. Sacrifice a bit of wealth. And there we go. Smithy. So, yeah. Also, our army is now... Uh, well, they are unfortunately dying. Not just yet, but next turn they will be effective, affected by the disease, which sucks. But hey, that's part of life, I guess. Also, let's raise another force, as I said I would. And let's get it, give it to this guy. They all have the same traits, but this guy have a bit more influence. Which might not be a good thing, all things considered, since he isn't a part of my family. Hmm. Let's go for the other guy then. Oh yeah, do I have? Yes, I did. That's true. Yeah, so I think I'll keep him out of town. Hopefully he won't get affected by uh, by the disease. Although he probably will. Are you ready to do your oh, we don't have that much money. Well, what do we give him instead then? Hurlers? Scavengers. Definitely not Warhounds. Rather give them Nordic Levy. Although crappy, uh, they are still a much better option than Thrall Skirmishers, or Trell Skirmishers. So I like to call them, because Trell is the, the word we use. Or, well, we used. That's the, that's the word modern Scandinavians used for Save that the Vikings said about slaves. Yes. That's the way it works. The more you know. Oh, I... Succeeded, apparently. Hmm, I guess that... Well, then you're off the hook then, game. I'm no longer mad at you. Although those double messages are still something that needs to be uh, done something with. Okay, so yes, I'm affected. Well, that sucks. Can I move? Yes, I can. Let's get to... Actually, that will be a bad idea. Just spread it. I would like these guys not to be, like, hit by, well, attrition for staying in snowy areas. Uh, guess I can place them there. Hopefully that won't give them winter attrition. 
Oh well, I guess we'll we'll find out. Also, interesting how the disease like hits every single unit just about the same. <laughs> so it's very precise in the way it, it hurts people. That's very interesting. So yes, we still have... Well, we're still building up, basically. So what will this get? Uh, minus 15 to food. This won't impact food at all, and neither will this. Therefore, I think it is a good thing to actually upgrade that. And hopefully of these cities will help the will help unlevel the uh, the problem of public order from the shoulders of the infantry onto the cities and uh, they can actually manage it themselves What are you up to? Are you attacking me? No, but it did ta take a suspicious amount of time to actually do anything. That was very, very weird. I don't know why they took so long. Yes, even more attrition. And yes, winter attrition. Okay, so the seas are still around, still affecting us. Also, my Dominion is 91, that might be a bit too much, actually. But I don't want to lose control. I would want to lose Dominion. And this doesn't give me the option. Therefore, I think it's in my best inf interest to use his influence. Also, how's the situation when it comes to governors and stuff like that? Not governors, but companions. So I can't put you here. That apparently does cost influence. That's interesting. Can I put these guys in there though? Apparently not. So do I need influence? Yet do these guys need influence? Maybe. And this isn't influence. This is just age. So yes, they need more influence apparently to become an elder. Very interesting indeed. Also, can you please marry? Might be a bit too late now. Yeah, and I know I stopped the marriage, but there was a marriage that wasn't in my best interest. And yeah, she has too little influence. This guy finally got a wife. Good thing that we can keep the line going. Because, well, your brother is dead. He died at the age of 27. Yeah. I thought he was there. Wasn't he? Really? I thought he already was. Well... Don't really see anyone else to give it to, and... I think I haven't given it to anyone else. Yeah, that should be it, right? Also, I don't know what this is doing. Because no matter how many times I click it, Still showing this guy, which is clearly deceased. But yeah, let's declare him heir because, well, I basically assumed he was. I have about 50% control. My power. My power is overwhelming. And unfortunately that might lead to a civil war. I still don't know exactly how Attila works when it comes to politics. Well, I, I know a bit about it thanks to uh, Total Warzone's excellent video on the subject, but I don't know if they, if you can actually get a civil war. I assume that you can get a civil war, but I'm not completely sure. Also, hopefully these aren't too close to one another, uh, so that these guys can actually give these guys disease. That would suck. And they're, they're still dying. Ouch. I might have to merge units and recruit new ones. Was, which indeed would hurt. 
Also, a bit tragic how I'm kinda depending on these guns to be the, the major strength of my army. And they're tier 2 light melee infantry. Light melee infantry. Oh well, I guess if the, <laughs> if the enemy doesn't have anything better either, then I guess it's, it's good enough. But yeah, the enemy are now, well, the future enemy most likely, are now gathering. Well, they have two armies there, which have pretty much been there all the time. And their ally, the Saxons, they are, the, well, I don't know, it seems like they're sticking around a bit and not a fan. Yeah, the Saxons control quite a bit, actually. Well, only two promises. Never mind. Sounds of Diplomacy. Are you still allied? Yes. And you are also allied with Gaul. You're at war with Rome, but you aren't. You have a tribute one. Interesting. And you're trading with the Angles. Well, that makes sense. You are not allied to them. Good. Let's see if I can get a trade with you then. The guards will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without Well, merit. apparently I have to pay you a bit. And that was all I had, I think. Yeah. So apparently, no. That will not happen. And the other candidates that aren't Saxons. I Romans. And give ear to your words. The Emperor sees you as worthy allies and suggests that you can see huh. lights. Well, I guess. They want a bit more payment. No, they reject this. Okay. Not aggression. And 2000. Or 2300. Just because I don't want to tie this in manually. Okay. I guess I have to do, do so then. Huh. So if I try to demand a payment, that might go through. Apparently. That's a bit weird. So can I just demand a thousand? Really? Favor and friendship is rarely expressed in such golden Um Okay, that's low. Okay. I see. But what uh, then if I do like uh this where is it? There we go. And then I say I want payment. Now it's rejected. Well, I probably could haggle it down a bit, but I think just getting the Romans to just give me a thousand of whatever the currency is, is quite impressive. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Also, Saxons, what are you doing? I sure hope that you're about to attack these tribes and are not setting your eyes upon my regions. Although, I am setting my eyes upon your regions. Well, first your allies. But, first we need this pesky, this pesky pest to go over. Also, apparently I have a few things I can give this guy. Hmm, so many decent things. Go for research rates. This guy isn't the admiral, though. I can get wealth from immigration. Although I'm not experiencing that much Im uh, immigration. So it doesn't really matter too much, but oh well. Sure. And yeah, by the way, can I give this guy? Or anyone, actually. That other thing, Lilda Sword. Especially this guy, which will actually fight a battle. 
Nope, wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> no. Let's rather give that to a guy who is actually a marine. Well, he already has that. Hmm. Let's do it like that. Actually, just take it away. I'll actually save it uh, in case I need it later on. But yeah, uh, integrity of these guys are going down, presumably because they're dying. But it's still very, very high, which is very nice. The integrity of these guys is rising, which is very nice because their integrity was rather low. So all in all, I think we're doing rather well. Yeah, it seems like the Saxons are ignoring me. It's not like they could capture anything with that puny navy anyway. Western Romans, do you want another agreement? No. I think they're done with s sending gold to people who, to be quite honest, does not deserve it. So, is my capital still ravaged by plague? It seems like it. Yeah. But, uh, at, on the positive side of things, we're actually doing rather well when it comes to public order. So, hopefully, the thing about building up all of this, to try to keep that in check, has worked. Hopefully. It seems like it, uh, but it might be might also be my admiral that is holding everything in check. But yeah, this is still getting ravaged by plague. I think I'll actually merge them until they get like that. And yes, I'll have to recruit them again. But I won't have to pay as much uh, money in order to actually still have them. Uh, She'll have them there. Also, I can get onagers and the Nordic bows. If I want that. Uh, speaking of if I want that, what do I want to research next? I think I'll go for the thing that will allow me to get the next smith level. And what did that give me again? I can't actually remember. But I think it gave me something good. Well, let's check. Oh yeah, and also, I am still at war with the Britons. I guess I might have to fear them. Still. Still dying. Uh, can't you just give it up? Anyway. Let's send our navy out to try to counter that. Also, let's try to talk to them to see if they will take to reason. Since I, well, crushed them. Greetings in the name of the state and so forth. Now, no, what do you want? they're not interested. Might just go ahead and attack you instead then. Like invade Britain. Should we just do that? I don't know. Might give it a I might give it a bit of a raid actually, and see how they suffer. Actually I'll keep this fleet here. I'll have these guys recruit uh, bowmen, so that uh, they're actually useful when it comes to fighting on, on the sea. And then I'll try to intercept these guys with both my navy and my army at the same time. My transport army, that is. Yeah, or actually my navy and have my this army as like a backup. I'll show them. I'll get over there and attack them. Not even in the walled settlement. 
That might be something to do while we wait for these guys to not be deceased anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll try to do so. And if these guys uh, want to get caught, then we hopefully will be able to initiate the battle. Also, should I get more ships? I think that might be a wise, a wise thing, seeing that we... Right now we only have missile ships, which... Actually, it should be mentioned that they are actually quite decent. But still, they alone will not win a battle. Probably. Might help with a few artillery ships, though. Anyway, that will hopefully happen in the next part. At least we have a target this time around, a target we can actually reach. And it should be relatively easy to get to. Hopefully it's not too well defended here. Anyway, we will find that out in the next part. I thank you so much for watching this part, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.